Alright, so this is a video I've been wanting to make for a while. These are the Lego Muppet figures. Finally just completed the set as of June 3rd, 2022. Um, so here's the whole set. Um, and we are gonna make a video showing them all off. And my initial thoughts in order of the first one I got to the last one I got. Oh yeah, here's the Lego Sesame Street figures, but we're not talking about them, we're talking about these lads. Starting off with the first figure, which is... Animal. Now, Animal, overall, is a good figure, and I very much like that he comes with the drumsticks and a, a, a drum. Uh, I don't like how the drum is built, but I do like how... It was, like, conceived, and it's his size. The figure's head looks good. The drums look good. Overall, I'd say it's a very good figure. Um, oh, why is it not blurry? Uh, overall, I'd say it's a good figure. Now, if you know me in real life, that you know my favorite Muppet. Well, if you've watched my videos, you know my favorite Muppet is Beaker. And when I went to the Lego store to buy $75 worth of packs, Beaker, I got three of them. And I got six, but Beaker not. Beaker, in general, is like a very good figure, and I'd say it's one of the best figures in the, in the whole set. Uh, because of the sculpt of the head, the accessory he comes with, and that it's just an amazing character. Uh, Beaker is my favorite Muppet, so that might be some, like, uh, thing to that. But overall, it's the best figure in the set. Well, one of the best, because there's two other good ones. But if we're rating them, Animal is like a 5, because 5 out of 10, or 5 out of 12, because we're going to rank them at the end, maybe. And uh, Beaker, Beaker is the best. Uh, 10 out of 10 on Beaker, 5 out of 10 on Animal. And now, we got Dr. B. Dr. Bunsen Honeydew here. Muppet Labs, where the future is being made today. Uh, I mean, it's one that you would have to go with Beaker for. And, um, uh, sorry about why Bunsen is out of focus. I can't get it to be on focus. Um, anyways, uh, it's a good sculpt. If you get Beaker, you definitely need Bunsen, unless you have a Beaker Shrine like me. Um, it's probably not the best, because I don't really like how it's just like the weakest with, cord with the accessory, but it's a good one. Alright. Alright, next figure is Yermadim, Swedish Chef. Uh, pretty good figure. I like the head. The tomato that he comes with and the whatever cooking spoon that is, is cool. It's overall, probably a really good figure. Um, I, I don't know much about Lego, so I'm not gonna, like, say, like, a mini figure or 2x2 two two or any of that. I just know, like, that they're Muppets and that. Thinking about it, May 8th was the next, May 7th, and I got Gonzo. From Barnes and Noble. Gonzo came with a chicken. And I lost that. Camilla to be exact. But I lost uh, Camilla. So I just put in one of the pigeons that came with the Sesame Street set. I'm sorry. it I, I can't find it anywhere. Um, but the sculpt of the figure is good. And it's probably one of my favorites. Not my favorite. Uh, Gonzo is another one of my favorite. Why did it just get blurry? Gonzo is another one of my favorite Muppets. So I am glad that I got this figure. I'm sad that I lost this chicken, but nothing I can do about it now besides buy a new one, which I'll eventually get do. Next figure I got was Fozzie Bear. Waka Waka. Uh, can someone tell me if how you know to put the microphone on the stand without it like looking like this because I for the life of me cannot find any way to put that microphone on the stand 
uh, besides this way. The banana looks good. The head looks good. I just can't figure out a way to put the microphone on the stand. Like, like why? Alright, Miss Piggy's next. Overall, I think it looks really good. Um, I mean, of course, how else were they going to do Miss Piggy besides giving her something with her on it? Uh, I don't like how you can't move the head, but that's because the hair is all one piece. Um, yeah, it's Miss Piggy. It, it's not the best Muppet. But, I... Why is it blurry? It's so blurry. Oh, I can I do that? Will I blur it? I don't know why it's so blurry, but like, all right, let's do this again. Miss Piggy looks good. Um, don't like her head. Uh, her thingy is good. Her accessory it seems narcissistic, but Miss Piggy is a narcissist, so there's Miss Piggy. Rolf the dog is next, um, because technically I got him at Walmart the day later, but really I got him at Barnes & Noble. I just dropped him when I was getting into the car, and I got two Rolfs, so, um... Anyways, so Rolf the Dog's a good figure. He comes with the Beethoven. He comes with a music thingy. And, um, why is it so blurry? I'm sorry about how blurry it is. Hold on. Probably the best, um, accessory wise if, uh, the Kermit didn't exist in the set. Uh, I really like it and I think that they couldn't have done it better next one we got is Janice who is my least favorite Muppet of all time I don't like her I think it would be better if they made like Dr. Teeth but I get why they made her for the gender like rebounds or whatever it's called uh, I just don't like Janice. She's my least favorite Muppet. But, I mean, at least, at least, I hope there's a wave too with Dr. Teeth and, uh, the Floyd and Zoot. Statler was the next one I got, who I really like the computer with Scooter on it. Which makes me really want Scooter as a Lego and wish that they just swapped Janice out for Scooter. Um... This is a very good figure, I'd say. Um, the computer is my favorite part of it, and the suit, because I love putting, like, Beaker in the suit or someone. Waldorf is the next one that I got, and I really like that he comes with the Z's from that one episode of The Muppet Show. I think that that was, if that is from The Muppet Show, that was a great callback. Um, my favorite part of these Waldorf and Statler figures is just to put them with Fozzie Bear and have them, like, mocking him. Uh, I really like this figure. I like his bald spot. He has a mustache. And finally, the figure I wanted the most, Kermit the Frog. Or second most, because Beaker. But, if... But... Kermit is my second favorite Muppet, and this is just, like, a very good figure of him. Uh, at first, when, like, it, they got leaked, I wasn't sure how to feel about his head. And I'm not sure, but I still think it's a good figure. So, Kermit! Oh, yeah, I just got this one, because I gave up on, uh... I bought this one on eBay, because I gave up on looking for them, because, like, every store near me stopped selling them, so... Kermit! All right, here. All right, you epic gamers. Here is the official Muppet Lego Super Beaker Bros ranking of Muppet Legos. At 12th place is Janice because I hate Janice. Now, in all seriousness, the rest of them will get ranked seriously. Number. Number uh, 11 is Doctor Bunsen Honeydew. 10 is animal. The drums just don't fit perfectly. 
Nine is Fozzie Bear. I just don't know how to put the stupid uh, thing on his uh, stand. Eight is Miss Piggy. The head not moving is just not good. Also, Eric Suffer isn't the best. Uh, and uh, seven is Gonzo because Gonzo, Gonzo's cool and all. Just Gonzo isn't like his accessory. I lost, but when it was chicken, it still was. No, never mind. Seven was Statler because the computer just wasn't a good input. S now we're halfway there, and here's the more positive one. Six is Waldorf. Because it's Waldorf. Five is Rolf. Rolf is a cool figure. It's just I got cursed with so many Rolfs and animals and beakers and Bunsens and Swedish chefs. Uh, five or four is Gonzo. I really like the molding of his head. Three is the Swedish chef because it's the Swedish chef. Two is Kermit. I just really like Kermit. Kermit's like, his, he's cool. And one is Beaker because Beaker's awesome and Beaker's God. So, so this is editing Super Beaker Bros. And I just found out that this is technically the 200th video. Not including like shorts. So I guess this can be counted as a 200th video uh, special. Um... I don't know why you would want to watch Lego Muppets for 200 video, but anyways, thanks for 200 videos, I guess.